What's up Aquarius? This is going to be your love forecast for the first two weeks of May. This is for my Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. So let's get started spirit what's coming in please for my aquarius aquarius sun moon rising and venus in the area of love first two weeks of may what can you tell my aquarius aquarius sun moon rising and venus is coming in for them in the area of love first two weeks of may justice king of wands and the death card okay aquarius Nine of Cups and the Judgment card, Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Aquarius, someone wants to come in and make something right with you. Okay, we have the Justice card. Justice card is about balance. It's about truth. Um, the Death card is about endings and new beginnings. There's a transformation happening here. So this could be a person that you um, may have had an ending with or there's something that is transforming the old ways, right? We've got a King of Wands. So this is an action forward King fire sign energy um, this person's taking some kind of action towards you because they feel like they need to make something right okay something has been out of balance tell me about this death card um, the four of wands you could have been in a stable relationship with this person or heading towards that um, and maybe there has been some kind of an ending between the two of you i have the judgment card which is the card of a comeback around but there's a lot of stress and anxiety here with the nine of swords and the five of pentacles so I feel like Aquarius, you've been disconnected or disconnecting from this situation. Maybe this person's actions left you out in the cold. They didn't do the right thing by you. Judgment card is accountability. But with all this stress, it's like, should I give this another chance or should I not kind of thing. We've got the Nine of Cups here. So Nine of Cups is hopes and wishes. Um, you know, perhaps this person wants to come in. They do feel like you're a hope and a wish. For some of you, I'm almost getting that there's selfishness here. Maybe this person was selfish. Nine of Cups also can be um, indulgence. So you could have been dealing with a person um, where there's a bit of this kind of um, drugging or drinking energy. That's a small portion of you. Selfish energy. Um, and now they're sort of feeling like they're accountable and they want to come in. So, you know, Death card is sort of an end to the old ways and a transformation. Tell me a little bit about this Justice card. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. Okay, so there has been a lot of confusion between you and this person, Emperor card. Um, the Emperor card is a card about stability and putting work or effort in, but perhaps, as I said, this person was sort of, you know, not putting in the work or effort that they were supposed to or not putting in equally. For some of you, marriage and divorce is a factor here with the Justice card, and this is a father and a husband figure. Um, or there could have just been a lot of confusion as in, you know, is this, can we build for the long term here? Is this stable? The Emperor in good energy is very stable. Um, and then we've got the Six of Swords. So I do feel that something through this connection off balance, we've got a Queen of Wands. So King and Queen of Wands. So very good pair theoretically, right? You guys are a match. Um, also very independent spirited. Sometimes can be a little karmic, um, especially with the Justice card. So heavy attraction, heavy desires, but um, it's also possible that there was um, maybe temptation outside. Seven of Cups can be outside energies or, um, you know, confusion about perhaps um, whether or not, you know, where you stood or what the future of the relationship was. Maybe there was some triggering and some lessons wrapped up into this connection. Ten of Cups. Um, I do feel like Aquarius, you're sort of independent energy you're sort of with or without you you know you're not going to take something that's not fair and right and balanced and then we've got the three of pentacles so this is the card of cooperation and ten of cups is you know happiness long-term fulfillment so i do feel that this person wants to come in they want a second chance to cooperate and build with you for the ten of cups if you're already or have been in a commitment with this person you could already have children um, or otherwise this is about sort of cooperating together to build that long term. I have an eight of wands here. So there's going to be messages, communication between you and this person. A um, little bit more on the death card. Yeah, four of pentacles. So, you know, I do feel like either you or this person, um, more so actually, I think you feel that this person withheld 
from you. They didn't sort of give it their all. And we've got the Six of Pentacles. So it's like a sense of you were investing more or you feel like you've been investing more in this situation. Six of Pentacles can be breadcrumbing. We have Five of Wands and Seven of Swords. So for some of you, you feel like, you know, this person's attention was elsewhere or there was conflicting interests. Um, which may have led to a sense of distrust, seven of swords. Some of you, this person, you could feel like you were dealing with a bit of a sneak. You have been dealing with a bit of a sneak or they weren't entirely honest with you and that could have led to arguments. Um, yeah, around stability, loyalty. And so there's a two of swords here. So I feel like in terms of, you know, really going that next level, some of this sort of, you know, um, withholding, you felt like this person was sort of holding holding back on you or not giving everything sort of prevented you or has been preventing you from moving forward onto this like really stable, um, you know, into this really stable energy. King of Pentacles, someone very stable, very good investment for the long term. And you're thinking very long term, Aquarius. Um, <clears throat> let's get a little bit more specifically on this person. So I do feel like this person wants another chance and there is opportunity here to um, transform this. Let's have a look. Okay, Spirit, I just saw the star card as I split the deck, which is healing and renewal. Your card, and then I split the deck, and then I saw the fool. So two cards that are Aquarian energy that are about new beginnings and healing. So let's have a look. The tower, the eight of cups, and the three of wands. The empress, well, we had the emperor out here, guys. So their feelings and intentions towards you. They want success with you. They want your attention, six of wands. And there's the empress. So mother... Um, wife energy divine feminine energy um the tower so this has crumbled right so they're having a bit of a tower moment um if it hasn't crumbled yet they sense that it's crumbling um now with the tower it's like what doesn't work must go and the eight of cups is about sort of leaving behind what's no longer working they could feel like you have turned your back or you're turning your back on them eight of cups and the three of wands is a sense of well where where do we go from here they're looking out into the horizon what's what's happening in the future now for us okay judgment exactly because there's a comeback around there's also a sense of judgment um if this person did something wrong like i said you know they could be having a bit of a of a wake up call judgment with the judgment in the tower this is like wake up calls four of pentacles and they are still holding on to you so we had four of pentacles here so you could feel like this person oh my gosh guys look four of pentacles judgment and here four of pentacles judgment Okay, one after the other. So they, they are holding on to you. They want a second chance. Um, they were, I feel, maybe not giving you everything because they could be, um, you know, this person could struggle a little bit emotionally or something like that. Or there was stuff that they were maybe not entirely honest with. Seven of Pentacles, they know they have a foundation with you that hasn't reached the full potential. Um, they're feeling quite defeated. Five of Swords, you could have had conflict with this person, there's a sense of exhaustion, mental exhaustion, um, but also defeat. It's also the card of getting away with something. So for some of you, this person, you know, maybe they got caught in the act or, you know, they're about to be <laughs> that tower card. So this is like big, um, abrupt, you know, confrontations and shifts and changes. But the magician card means they're trying to manifest with you. I'll take the start, a new beginning and a renewal. And they're still hanging on to hope for you. Um, because nine of cups, nine of cups, you are some kind of a hope and a wish for them, right? Um, so what action are they going to take? Oh, seven of swords. Okay, I feel like this person self-sabotages or something, you know, they withhold. I also feel like this person, devil and seven of swords, might have some bad habits, addictions, um, as I had said to you already. So for some of you, this is coming up again. Nine of cups, devil, seven of swords. Um, addictions or self-indulgence, um, toxic habits, but I think they're trying to break free from that, with the Nine of Pentacles. So maybe they are focused on themselves, focused on their health now, and there is this sense of wanting a new love beginning with you, Ace of Cups, okay? Um, and this is a healing energy again, temperance. So Aquarius, there you go. I mean, it'll be your decision. Just because I do these videos and I say someone's coming back, it does not mean you have to take them back. So a lot of people like to comment and say, I'll never take him back or um, I won't take back a narcissist. Well, then it's not your video um, or it is your video and you don't have to, you see? So um, it's up to you guys, you have free will. Let's get a romance angel. 
finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your life right now. So maybe this person also, um, this person could have also had some bad habits when it comes to money and finances. This person could be overindulgent, overspender, um, or maybe you're just now focused on your money and your finances. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, so this person could be wanting to come back in reconciliation and be playful with you because I do have separation card here. Um, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, I think there's something within this that, that has taught you to come into Empress Energy and like love yourself first um, because this looks like it was a bit of a... A difficult situation whatever you dealt with and you had to kind of take back your power to regain some balance okay Aquarius I hope that that resonated for you and if so you can give me a like and a comment as I said and I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time lots of love